Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. Please subscribe below if you have not already and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Okay, so I have done um, how to style your curls. I've done videos like that over time, but my hair has grown to where I want it to be. Just a really quick backstory. My hair was always long. I always had long hair. And then a few years ago, I cut it and then I cut it again. Like it was just, I went through this short hair stage. For some reason, that's when I decided to have a YouTube channel. Really weird. So like, that's not really how I, my hair normally is. I've always had long hair. So now I don't want to have long, long hair because I'm 50 years old, but I want my hair where it is now. I kind of like where it is now. Shoulder length, I think is good, appropriate, whatever. And um, yeah, so. I want to update my routine, but I really, I, I, this is for everyone obviously who has curly hair, but if like some of us, like I have extremely coarse, dry hair and I have a lot of it. It's thick. I mean, I have everything that drives me, me crazy about my hair to be quite honest. Um, but I have learned over the years how to make it not look coarse because a lot of people are like you don't have dry coarse hair but I do I really really do even all my hairstyles are like ooh yeah you have a lot of it too and it's extremely coarse they would tell me I, I already know that but it, it is hard to tell on video sometimes without touching one's hair you know so I just want to show you if if you feel like you're at a loss with your curls you're not trust me um, I'm going to show you what I do to my hair you know, from beginning to end. Um, and if you have my type of hair, I hope this does help. And you can still follow every step that I do if your hair is not like that. I will just tell you maybe where you might want to tweak it. That's about it. But if you have curly hair, this is still good. If you have wavy hair, you can still use these techniques. I'm just showing you how I do and style my hair. So, And you do see it on most videos, I will admit. But I'm going to get more in depth with it. And um, I have been styling my hair a little different lately to make it more bigger and curlier. I used to style my hair more where I kind of liked it where it was more straight on top and it kind of just had like a woof and then the curls were calmer. Now I'm in this like, I just want it all curly and big. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it today. Um, I feel like we've been liking the bigger hair. I've been getting compliments that this is, I, they like this, everybody, all of you guys like this too. Maybe I might, and then I've kind of been lately doing a combination of the both because the other way is more bigger defined curls, whereas what I'm doing is more like just wilder curls. So I'm going to try and do like an in-between um, of the both. So we'll see how it comes out, but I'm going to tell you like the important steps really of what to do to make your hair, you know, look prettier. Because again, coarse dry hair sounds so unattractive, right? Let's be honest. Okay, so let's just get into this. First thing what I do is, when I do go in the shower, I, I don't do the whole second day refresh because I don't get a lot of videos show how to refresh your hair second day. I just feel like, is this a real thing? Because honestly, most of them are taking a water bottle and pretty much soaking their hair anyway. So I just don't feel like that's, is that second day hair? Like just go and wet it anyway in the shower. And I don't, I mean, maybe they just don't want to jump in the shower. I get that it's more of a whole process, but I do that. It kind of wakes me up anyway. Um, yeah, I'd rather just rinse the product out in the shower that I had on from the day before. I will say though, sometimes if I have a really good product and I put a lot in it, like the nights that I go out and I really put more effort into my hair, um, the next day I could kind of just go get away with it. Just maybe put a little extra in my palm and wipe it through, crunch it up, and it's, it looks good for the most part. But again, that depends on how much product I put in the day before. Um, so for me, I do not shampoo every day. I don't even shampoo every other day. I shampoo once every like two weeks. And um, it works for me because again, I have very dry hair. If your hair is really dry, you don't want to shampoo every day. You don't even want to shampoo every few days. Try to shampoo once a week. See if that works for you. For me, I can go two weeks. Like my hair just never, I don't think I've ever seen my hair greasy, ever, ever. Um, that's just, it, I'm used to it. It is what it is. 
I do, however, condition every single day. I have to condition my hair every day, or at least every day I wet it. It just helps keep my hair feeling healthier. I prefer OGX conditioner. I'll use any of them. That's like kind of my favorite right now. Well, f for years it's been, but um, I'll try any conditioner. And for the most part, I do feel like most conditioners are the same. I know a lot of people will disagree with me, but at the end of the day, I feel like I don't see a difference with the end result. That's kind of what I mean. But some feel better, some make my hair feel better than others. Um, but at the end of the day, they work fine. Some don't, some I feel like don't do anything. I don't even know what those are because I just don't use them. I know what I like and I stick to it. I u I'll use Tresemme. I'll use, um, ba -ba -da. what else do I use? I honestly will use anything. I've used Suave. Suave has really nice conditioners. Um, and they're inexpensive. So, but anyway, I'll just let you know how I do it. So again, I use a lot, but this is where you're gonna tweak it depending on your hair. Do you have a lot of hair? Is your hair really dry? You might only need a quarter size for your whole head of hair. Do you have long hair? Do you have short hair? You know, it all depends. Like you can look at all these tutorials on YouTube and we're all telling you what to do, but a lot of these things really do, do depend on your type of hair. It's very specific. So if you have a lot of dry hair, coarse hair, you might want to use three quarters. That's what I use on my length hair for the amount of hair that I have, and that works. I start it, I put it in my hand first, and then I, I work it on the top, and then I go in the bottom. And I know everybody's like, start with the bottom. I'm gonna get to the bottom. So either way, I'm getting to the bottom, so don't worry. And for me, I need it in my roots. You might not want it. If you get greasier it by your roots at your top, maybe don't use so much of it there, my hair from head to toe is dry, so I want conditioner everywhere for me. It also, um, I like the conditioner to sit on my scalp because then I don't have a dry scalp. I don't really have itchy scalp and I feel that's one of the reasons and also because I don't shampoo every day because shampoo will dry your scalp out and dry your hair out, obviously, if you use it all the time. So conditioning, I just, first thing I do is rinse my hair into the water get all that product out from the day before. And if it's a product that I feel like, ugh, I feel like it's still in there, I have no choice but to shampoo. I'll use, uh, what is it, co-wash, like conditioner, shampoo conditioner. Um, but honestly, I'll use any conditioner. I mean, I'll use any shampoo that kind of is in the shower. Some I just don't like, so I will try to keep a conditioner that I like. I mean, a shampoo that I like. Um, I'll go over that one day. I'll let you know what shampoos and conditioners I prefer over others. I'm not picky when it comes to my shampoo at all, but I don't want to use something that's really going to dry me out. So I will try to use one that's very moisturizing. No matter what I pick up, it's always, you know how they'll say for this, for that, for this, for that. It's always for to moisture, to add moisture to your hair. So whenever I pick up a shampoo, that is what I always look for no matter which the name brand is. So after I do that, I'll go in and again, I'll put a quarter size conditioner, start with here, get it in, and then I just kind of work my way down and get those ends, of course. So, and then I take my fingers, I'll rub them through my hair, kind of combing my hair from the root to the end to make sure the conditioner is in every part of my hair. So. Then I'll just continue to shower, wash myself, shave, whatever I gotta do. This way the conditioner is sitting on my hair all that time. So when I'm done, the last thing I do is rinse my, my conditioner out of my hair. Try not to use boiling hot water. I don't use cold because I can't handle cold water in the shower, but I, I try to, at the end, I make it a little cooler and I'll just, I'll ri rinse it out of my hair. Then we go into the microfiber towel and like don't ever use a regular towel that you use to dry your body with because that will frizz your hair up. The microfiber towel really makes sure that your hair is not getting frizzed. But just to let you know each step, so I rinse the hair, I rinse the water out of my hair first, squeezing it out as much as I can. And I really don't want to mess with my curls because that's when your curls are naturally like the patterns there. I put my head upside down and make sure all the hair is hanging down get my microfiber towel, scrunch up with it to keep those curl patterns like that, 
and then I just wrap my hair in the microfiber towel. I'll do this, I'll, when I'm done with my shower, I'll then go do my makeup, and it's about 20 minutes, I say, by the time I'm kind of walking around, put my makeup on, whatever, before I'll dry my hair. Um, and for me, I've learned that that's the perfect amount of time to get my hair damp. I know a lot of people like soaking wet hair, but if you apply product to soaking wet hair, you're wasting so much product. You're just wasting your product because you're going to squeeze it right out anyway. I've tried it. I'm not a fan of it. I also don't like dripping hair on my shoulders while I'm getting ready. So for me, this works best. And if your hair is really dry, it's just for me, I think it's so much better. And people will agree, but again, it's because for their hair, soaking wet, applying products to soaking wet hair works best. For me, damp hair all the way. That's just the way I, I'll do my hair all the time because it works best for me again. Okay, so now here we are. Now I could show you the next steps. Now, I didn't touch my hair, okay? I just took it out of the microfiber towel you saw, right? You could see the natural curl pattern that I have. And then some of you might scream when I put my fingers through and stuff, but I'm going to show you, don't worry, it's fine. So, because you can't, how am I going to get product in the hair? I want, again, I have a lot of hair. I need product within there. So it's just, it is what it is. Today I'm going to use Aunt Jackie's Quench Moisture Intense Leave-In Conditioner. I got to buy more because I'm towards the end and I love this stuff. So, okay, this is what I do. I didn't touch my hair yet, took it right out of the microfiber towel. I'm gonna put some product in. This is another thing that is gonna totally depend on your hair. Some of you might just use this and that's it. This is really watery, so I can't really go upside down. Some of you just might use this for your entire hair and that's it, and that's all fine. But I have a lot of hair, and I have thick hair, like each strand is thick on top of it, and it's dry and coarse. So I'm gonna need a lot more. I don't wanna use, that's why I prefer gels. I mean, that's why I prefer creams over gels because if I put a lot of gel in, my hair's gonna be harder. It's gonna dry it out because most gels do tend to dry my hair out. Um, whereas if I use something like this, a leave-in, it's a lot of product, but it's good product that's moisturizing my hair. Like this has shea butter and olive oil. I go for products that have ingredients like that because that's best for your curls so let me just go in first I go all over first I go here and I know a lot of people say start with your ends they could do that for me this is how I start because I don't want my flyaways okay so I go here and then I just literally sweep up my hair like I'm putting it in a ponytail then my fingers go in here to get to the root because I don't want frizz there I'll get to my end, don't worry, and it doesn't matter if you do your end first or last. A lot of people will say start at the bottom, don't put a lot at your root. That really just depends on your hair, your hair type. You know, some of you might not want a lot at your root because it will weigh it down. I like it or else, because otherwise I'm going to have, yeah, my curls might look nice in the end, but my hair is going to look frizzy up here because of the type of hair that I have. If your hair is thin and soft, I wouldn't suggest using a lot at the root at all because it will weigh it down, but I need that. So if your hair is like mine, don't worry about putting it at the root. Don't worry. So now, I feel like I did all over first, right? Now I'm going to go put more on. I would say that's about a quarter. Rub it in my hands and I do the same thing on this side. And I be, I'm always sure to get here too. Again, this is your front. The front always that's what everybody sees right away right you want your first impression to look good not that I ignore the back because I don't and as I'm doing this I'm also it's still kind of on my hand I'm spreading it so it's getting all over my hair to each strand I'll start at the top and I do this so fast in my other videos that you probably don't even notice it but I'm kind of working my way downward and doing this so I want to make sure all that product is in my hair first before I decide, before I even go in and style the curls, you gotta prep it first. You gotta put your product in first, okay? And I do feel that I'm getting this in pretty good. I'm gonna go in with a dime size now. I'm gonna put more in. Go on the ends. I mean, I understand concentrating ends, but for me, the whole hair is important, not just the ends, okay? Style that. Okay, 
So, where did my curls go? Don't worry, they're there. And now what I'm gonna do is, I just, I just, it's so important to make sure you have product in your hair first. Guys, I've been stop, I'm, I'm the old curly hair lady on here, okay? I'm 50, I've been selling my hair for 30 years. So I know what's working for me and what doesn't work. So I'm gonna take sections and again, on every day, I kind of do this very quick. I'm not as, I don't take my time as much like I'm going to do for you guys because where am I going? Um, and it comes out fine anyway. But I want to show you like you can really make your curls look good. So what I'm going to do is I'm separating it with my fingers. See that? And I'm pulling down. Yes, I'm pulling my curls out. Don't worry. Don't panic. I know people panic. Oh my God. Don't worry. Your curls are stare. You have curly hair. You're not pulling your curls out because naturally you have curly hair. Don't worry. Your curls are still going to be there, like it or not. You can't get rid of it. I can't do this and say, I want my hair straight and now my hair's going to be straight. It's not going to happen. So don't worry. You can pull your curls. By doing that, I separated the curls. You see that? I'm making different, like, I'm thickening my curls. So now I'm going to shake it because that's going to give me the curl pattern. And then I'm going to go like that to get those curls going even more, okay? Now I'm gonna move forward, do it here. You could take smaller sections if you feel more comfortable. I'm just, if you watch my videos, you know I'm just like, let's get this going, you know. We're busy, we have things to do. I work a full-time job. Some of you probably have little kids you have to chase after, my kids are older, but we all are busy, right? I'm not gonna spend three hours in my hair. It's just not gonna happen, and you don't have to. You don't have to. Let me tell you, I'm taking my time because I'm yapping, but this can go really fast. And if you don't believe me, watch my other videos because I'm just, psh, 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 I do it quick. Do this here, shaking it up to get those curls, and then I'm gonna scrunch it. And there's my curls, my curls are back. Curls didn't go away. Curls didn't go away. Do the front. Okay, so you could see, even though I pulled my curls out, they're there, so don't worry about it. Um, I might go back to this, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. If you want to go underneath, you could do that too. Make sure the curls under there get nice and curly. Look, you, you can still see my curls are there. Again, they're not going anywhere. Even if I wanted to get rid of them, I couldn't. <laughs> okay, so what I will normally do next is I go back in with a little more. This also depends on the product you use. Some products are very heavy, That like um, Shea Moisture is a very thick product. If it's a really thick product that's not like runny or um, anything like that, don't use a lot. Start small because even for my hair, it could look greasy. It'll be curly, but it'll look greasy. I don't like greasy, but I do like shiny. So shiny is healthy. Greasy is too much product. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and I'm just going to, I'm going the bottoms, got to tell you that, sorry. I went like that and now I just want to finish those ends. Always put a little extra in my ends. And sometimes I'll look up here and I'll see some flyaways and I'll just grab like the top. And I'll put more product in there. Separate it my fingers. Let's see if make sure you can see that separation. You see that? See how all the curl, the pieces of hair are like, you got this one, you got, eh, can you see this guy? That's going to separate my curls and give the definition. Beep, beep, beep. Do that. Okay. Okay, 
Now we're going to diffuse. Okay, so I have my diffuser, and before I continue, if you're here, you probably know about the Curly Girl method. I do not follow that. I never have. There are things on there that are common sense that we, we I say we because I'm sure Curly Girl, right, Curly Head Girls have been doing this stuff for years before Curly Girl method ever came out. It's kind of common sense stuff. But some of the things I don't agree with on there, like using heat in your hair. I use heat and sometimes I use the hottest setting. Heat locks in. Heat will open up that cuticle. I have a leave-in conditioner in my hair. It's going to open up my cuticle and that, moist, that moisturizing shea butter and olive oil product is going to go into my hair and it kind of give me like um, a treatment, like a hair mask. Like you put heat on your hair when you do those things. You go to a salon. I used to do it all the time. I'd get for an extra $10 before I got my hair cut. They would put... Um, a deep conditioning in my hair, maybe a mask it was called, I don't know, but whatever they put in my hair, then they, they put, they'd put me under the dryer, the hot, hot, hot dryer, because that's what, that's, that's how you really should do masks with heat. And honestly, I'm getting a treatment every day because this is what I do. I use heat and it's okay. It's okay. And I'll also use products that curly girl method people don't agree with because they have certain ingredients and I don't care. If I like it, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. It's not, it, it's on my hair. I'm rinsing it out the next day. So, just saying. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to use the highest setting, so I guess the strongest setting for wind. And I'm going to start with this cool, warm, and hot. I'm going to, I'm going to start with warm, but sometimes I go back and forth with hot. Um, I want to, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to mix up both techniques that I've been using lately. I want to first make sure that this is nice and set with curls. Um, so I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to don't touch your hair as much as you try not to touch your hair. I'm only touching it because I'm putting it like this in the diffuser. That's the only reason. And then I'm going to put this on. Um, and I don't move. I'm just going to sit here and I'm not going to move because you don't want to move your diffuser around. That's like the biggest mistake, biggest mistake that a lot of people use, do, like they'll move the diffuser around, they'll touch it with their fingers. That's the biggest mistake. Now, after I did these with my curls, I set my curls with my product, I don't want to go near them until they're dry with my fingers. I don't want to play with them. I don't want them breaking up or anything. So I'm going to put my diffuser on. I'm going to sit here until they're set. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to do this for about four or five minutes. Okay, so you see how I got those curls they don't look great yet because we're not done. I'm going to move over here and do the same. So you can see like my hair is still wet here. It just kind of lifted a little bit. Those curls are set. They're nowhere near done. Don't put your fingers through it still. I'm just going to grab this part. Again, nowhere near done, but I want to do the same on the other side. Only a few minutes. And yes, I'm putting my diffuser at the bottom. I'm not starting on the top because a lot of people might say, don't start at the bottom because you're going to frizz your ends. They're going to fry. That, that doesn't happen to me because I put extra um, product at the ends. And if I don't do the ends first, my ends are just not going to be curly. And I like my ends to look more curly. If I start up here, 
I'm telling you, my hair's already starting to dry. That's how dry my hair is. And they're not going to look like this. They're going to look like this. I want them to look like this. I want them lifted and curled. So I'm telling you, start at the end. You do whatever works for you. But I have extremely dry hair, and I've never worried about my ends never seemed drier, so it's up to you. Okay, so my hair is nowhere near dry yet. So, what I'm gonna do is dry the rest of my hair. I'm gonna move back so you can see me because this is when, if you want volume, which is what I've been doing lately, I like the volume lately, you kinda have to put your head, <laughs> not so much totally upside down, although I do that also for the top, but pretty sideways. So let me move back so I can show you then. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the diffuser under my hair but I'm gonna be sideways, so it's gonna dry that way, if that makes sense. Okay, so basically, if I dry sideways, my hair will dry that way, which gives the volume, because if I just dry like this, it'll be flat. And I'll tell you, I've done that before, because I don't want a volu voluminous look, I just want my hair more flatter. But um, for the most part, I do like volume, so I'm gonna do it this way. So again, if you want, if you like volume, dry your roots, psh, sideways. Okay, now I am gonna flip my head upside down because I want more volume here. So, don't mind me. Okay, so you, you saw everything I did. At this stage, my hair feels dry to the touch, but every time you think it's dry, it's never dry. So you don't want to have your hair half dried because it will get frizzy. It will dry frizzy then. You need to make sure that you set every strand of hair dry. This way, it'll just stay that way. However you it looks after, it'll stay that way the rest of the day. If you, again, only do it halfway, well, the, the part that's still wet is gonna dry frizzy, and now you're gonna have frizzier hair. So, it's, a, it's just literally a few more minutes. That's all you probably need, most likely. And it's probably under here. Like, my hair feels dry, but I know it. It's tricking me. So, I'm gonna go in and dry some more. I'm gonna put the blow dryer up here, make sure this is nice and dry, and just kind of work all around, again, Still not touching. I'll let you know when you can touch.
Okay, I feel like my hair is dry enough now that I could start um, scrunching it up. So this is going to take out any crunch you might have. This product doesn't give me crunch, but the curls are more set. If I do this, you'll see what happens. And um, yeah, so here we go. With the blow dryer on, I'm going to crunch upward and then shake my hair from the root. Remember, it's totally dry now. Okay, so I feel that this next step is so crucial and important, and I don't know that a lot of people use this step. To me, my curls won't last all day if I don't do this. I don't think they will. I probably haven't tried it in so long, but hairspray. You gotta set your hair with hairspray. For me, that just, it sets your curls, especially if it's a humid day out. I personally love, and there's anything else, the Tresemme, what is it? Uh, Tresemme, Tres 2 spray. I love this stuff. I love it, love it, love it. I don't care which one it is. Any of them like this. So, I spray like my whole head. It's getting in my hair. You see that? I'm doing underneath. I'm not just doing the top. I'm doing my whole hair. And if you have hair like me, like, I used to be embarrassed of this, now I'm like, whatever. You could just pretty much mold your hair. Like, my hair could be molded to look any which way I feel like I really can. That's when you have dry, coarse hair. I want that curl there, it'll go there. If I want this, look, like, I could literally just mold it if I want it flatter. So this is when I finish my hair. And I put my condition, I mean, I put my hairspray in, and I am done. And I'm good to go. Now, I think my hair looks good. Let me get closer. Do you see my curls? I think they look soft. I think they look defined and they don't look frizzy. Um, I think so. This is pretty much like, this is the best I can get. Like if I want, like I know there's other women out there or men who have soft, beautiful curls naturally. That's their hair naturally guys. If you're here because you have hair just like me, dry, coarse, you could do it, you could style your hair and it'll look, it could look soft, defined, etc. If you're looking at a video of someone who has naturally soft, um, not coarse hair, they have beautiful curls and you're like, why can't my hair look like that? You know, you got to work with what God gave you and you can have a look like that. You're just not going to have a certain look. You, your hair is your hair. There's so many different curl. There's curls with really tight, beautiful curls. I'm never going to have that. I I can try my best to have it, but it is what it is. You got to work with the hair you have. Listen, I look at beautiful soft waves. I'm never going to have that. I could try. I can use a curling iron. I can use a wand and I can maybe achieve it, but that's going to be a lot of work. So Accept what you have. Accept the texture of your hair. I fell in love with it. Hated it when I was a kid. Admit it. But now I've learned to love it. I've learned how to work with it. And you can you can have nice curls if your hair's dry and coarse. Again, my hair, my God. I've talked about this before on my channel, what my hair used to look like. I just had frizzy hair. I have frizzy hair. And it worked in the 80s. It was all great. When I was little, I just put my hair in a ponytail every day. My mom had to put my hair in a ponytail because there's nothing else you could do with my hair. My hair was like, literally, I can't even get in the camera. It was like this big. If I, because she, she, we didn't have products back then. So now we have amazing products. We have tools like a diffuser. I didn't have a diffuser growing up. We have these tools to use. We have these products. We can have decent hair. But just know that if you're following steps to someone who has soft, beautiful curls, our, my hair's never going to look like that. It's just not. So, but this is the steps you can take if your hair is dry, coarse, you have a lot of it. I 
think they look okay. I really do. I, I, they're as good as I'm going to get them. Let's be honest. So that's it, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I let me know, please, if you follow these steps and your hair comes out great. I love, love, love to hear that. Like, I love hearing comments like that. I really do. So that's it. Okay, so please give me a thumbs up, don't forget. And until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.